Hi, I'm Jeff Gatewood. Um, I'm going to try to make a Cumberland start to finish today. I uh, haven't posted videos in a while, and a lot of folks expressed that they'd like to see a Cumberland made start to finish. So, right here, what I've got is a piece of Tennessee flint I picked up. This one here is heat treated, and it's uh, kind of glossy when you chip it, pull it in show it to you, which I don't know how much uh, irregularities, I don't know if it's got any cracks, so we're just going to chip into it, I've knocked a few flakes off of it, make sure it was cooked, but what I'm going to try to do is turn this into a Cumberland, and hopefully it'll give me a, a nice piece, and anyway, bear with me, the wind's blowing, um, <clears throat> outside on a Sunday, it's kind of cloudy a little bit cloudy here and there uh, I'm outside winds kind of blowing so hopefully you can hear this I'm gonna set this camera up and we'll get to napping okay about right there Bear with me just a second. Okay. There we go. Pull this up so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, now readjust this a little bit. Okay. Now I'm just trying to get the square edges off of it. I will occasionally take a big plate with time to dry. dip on this one side. Hopefully that don't hurt it too bad.
assembling is a fairly narrow point most of the time, so I'm not too worried about my width. So don't want to get it too flat either. The flake has got to have a little bit of curvature to travel properly. What I'm trying to avoid, because I'm trying to, still got this flat spot in the middle, trying to not flatten my point out too much at once. And I'm trying to take and make, take that flat area out. The flute will not travel good across the flat area. As a matter of fact, it will die. getting there.
I'm trying to do now is build a median ridge on this area, on this side. And it's still got a dip right here, which will kill a fluke. So I'm going to have to take it down to at least that took out. Clean this edge up. Take a row back that way. Then go back again see if I can't get that out of there. I got this whole platform, continuous platform on this side. Kermelins are a little harder to make than most ones. saw me do is I made sure my continuous platform is Kermelin's probably one of the hardest points that I make. It's got uh, flaking. has got to, you got to be knowing where this flaking's going from the first, before you even start the rock. And it's got to be relatively smooth, very smooth flake. can't have dips in it. You can't have high spots. It's got either one. It'll, the 